Oh. Uh, testing, testing. Looks like it's working. Okay. Okay guys, welcome to today's video. Here, let me move my microphone a little bit closer, that way I don't have to reach over. But, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you're interested. Uh, and we're gonna jump into Alien Isolation Part 6. Without further ado, let's get it started. Now, this is gonna be my second attempt at recording this. I did do the whole playthrough previously, but when I was editing it, edit, editing it, in my editor for some reason it only saved the audio and i uh lost the old file so we're gonna go back uh i want to say this is mission five we started that i'm not sure but uh, if not we'll just go back and We'll go back and select the right mission. I think it was mission 5 is what I started at, though. We ended up playing through... I want to say we played through mission um, 6 and 7. But we'll find out here. Ah, uh, no, this isn't it. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Quit the main menu. So it must be mission six. And this is a very... It, it's a bitch. This mission is... It's, it's, a uh, It's irritating, to say the least. Yeah, this is where we left off, okay. It's annoying. But I found out a new strategy. If you just crouch around for the most part, the alien shouldn't jump down through the vent. It's keyword shouldn't. Now, in the previous video, I did read these, so for just for this video's sake, I will. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a Marshall investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshall's weight will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation, and I'm going to need your discretion. I'll, and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Lingard, senior medical officer. So we got those active. Yeah, for the most part, uh, he shouldn't drop down. I'm not saying that's the case all the time, but he shouldn't from what I've encountered in this whole entire mission. And uh, also, he does tear lockers open. He likes doing that a lot in this mission. Oh, yeah, that did. Which is a pain in the ass.
This motion tracker is a lifesaver in this mission. Not a doubt in my mind. Yeah, for the most part, you should be crouching if you want to attempt this on your own. Highly recommend it. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. I also recommend saving right here just in case you do fuck up and the alien hears you. You don't have to go back and grab the fucking uh, little cryo tube thing. Oh, and uh, in this mission, he starts going through the vents. Which I'm sure you, you may see me die a couple times because there's just no avoiding it at this point. He's gonna get you sometimes, but it, that's that happens. message for Lingard on her return. I've prepped the patients in the drama ward for transportation, as best as I can. Before Waits locks the place down, I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary, the dispensary pardon, is now empty. Everything in San Crestable has to offer in terms of first aid and Medicare or medicine is with you or elsewhere on station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news, Morley. This is just a death certificate. And this is the cue for the checkpoint. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been placed under duress with regards to the cover of my patient zero. And ransom. Season's head of operations. He he made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, God. Oh, me. that woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Okay. As you can see, some shit is going down. My best assumption, and this is just because I've watched Alien vs. Predator and all that shit in the past, but uh, the alien that's on the ship right now running around amok, killing everybody, is the alien that was inside patient or patient zero's stomach. That's my assumption, but then again, I mean, it could be anything. We'll have to see somewhere down the line. Which we will. And he's gonna come down here, he's gonna walk in the room, look around, might try and tear the vent open. Or the locker open, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's annoying this mission, that's for sure.
and you may get lucky and you may just walk out. That's that's best case scenario. I'd wait till you don't hear his footsteps anymore, cause Dude's annoying. I'm probably gonna die here. Just because of what it is and the nature of it. really putting a damper on my plans right now, Bella. And his routes aren't the same all the time. Like, he switches it up, he'll go to the left, he'll go to the right, then back through the right. Wait for him to get down there. Just because of what the next part is. Fuck. Then you want to hide in here because he's going to get triggered and he's going to come back down to the back. I kind of feel stupid because, like, I've already beat the whole mission, and it's like, ah. Uh, it's like, man. So, I like, I know it's going to happen, but that's okay. We'll get through it. We'll get to the other side, and, uh. As long as you guys are seeing the gameplay, I'm happy. This part's pretty tricky because you have to kind of get around them. And there's like no way of... Truly really getting around them. I guess you can say. Gotta kind of take it slow right here. So I'm gonna be van or uh, locker camping for a little, but oh well. When we get uh, a little bit further in past this hallway, so like we have to go down this hallway and back up through here. Once we get past this part, there's a it little tight area where we have to hit a save, but we'll get there. After that, it's cake, sorta. y'all trick okay 
Okay, never mind. I don't think I'm gonna have to show you guys that trick I was gonna talk about. Unless he magically pops out of thin air. This is a very important save point, by the way. You need to get the save point. Okay, let me see what I can do with this. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've been set up in, or you know what, what we've set up in there. And I'm truly sorry for what it means in the patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no future warnings. Marshall waits. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up a shop and habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with them. And my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal Central Wards, the code is 2505 Lingard. Thanks, Lingard. San Crestable Medical has been locked down by the Colonial Marshals until further notice. Sevastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sevastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. The locations to follow, Marshall waits. Here's an audio. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Are we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here. And I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market meth supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. kind of a piece of cake from here. I don't want to jinx myself. It can definitely get tricky though. Okay, so um, this is patient zero right here. I'll show you what she looks Sims. like. I've got the and my theory is the We're alien that's on our reception. dick right now okay, came from this person. So did the creature. Just my theory. This is just some codes, nothing special. There's a tape. We've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up quoted Sikhs and privileges and had a ringside we'll seat for the whole goddamn mess. Promise. 
This is a serious incident. I don't need ransom. Make it more complicated. Do you read me? That was close. See what I mean? It could be tricky. It could also be a piece of cake. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna... Just one more time. Get this safe. Yeah, these uh, flashbangs and noisemakers are lifesavers, by the way. They, uh, basically, even though the flashbang isn't a great idea to use on the alien, it only stuns it for, maybe, or stuns it for, like, a second or two, at most. But, what it does is, if you throw one in an area you want the alien to maybe, like, go, like, let's say that or there's some humans after you, you can throw the flashbang. And the alien will actually come out from the vents and go to that area where the noise was heard. And you can also use this shit on droids, and the droids will fall for it as well. So it, it, it's pretty handy. Very nice, I, could, I should say. Watch out for the vents too, because they start uh, drooling shit. Make sure you don't walk under those vents, whatever you do. So what I'm going to do, instead of heading straight here, I'm going to go back to that security room and hit a save. That way, if I do get caught and die, I don't go all the way back to the power plant room, you know what I mean? It's just something I found was a little bit easier to do. And by the looks of it, I think he killed all the humans before I went into the power plant room. So this may even be a little bit harder than... uh. It should be.
inventory patients must supply their crew number and docking registration. Should be okay to move now. You'll see what I mean about these noisemakers. They're fucking lifesavers, dude. Oh shit. I was experimenting with something right there. I was gonna see if maybe he would just leave and not look under that table. But uh, now I know that for future uh, references, that's not how that works. So then in that situation, if you're under that table, what I would do when you start seeing the alien walking down that way is throw a noisemaker in that back right corner and then head for that room diagonal from under the table, but crouch the whole time. That, cause it, from personal experience, when you crouch walking away from the alien, it's a lot better than sprinting. I just think it's because it's quieter, which is obviously, I mean, I know that's common sense, but. Some people may not know that, you know what I mean? recommend too is don't always expect things to go your way because the alien is so unpredictable like he could be drooling one way and drop out the vent in front of you you know what I mean that's why it's so it's so hard to tell really what what he's gonna do So that alien probably caught on. Yeah, you hear him drop down now. He's gonna come in now. He's gonna.
gonna definitely come look at the vent or the uh, not. Oh, I keep saying vent locker. Now I hate this part because it's so fucking annoying getting the perfect time down on these. I'm walking around, so I just kind of went in the vent. See what I mean? Don't want to risk it. Kind of just want to play it safe at this point. Till we get to the checkpoint. Or the save point. Someone fucked up. to go out there. Tell where he's at. That guy's definitely dead, by the way. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry, buddy.
Yeah, when you do that, not only do the humans get attracted to it, so it's like, let's say there's humans after you, you can also throw that to get the humans killed by the alien. That's what I mean by you gotta hold your breath. right there so we just got to get to the security desk hit save we should be good somewhere far away so I can make a move. This save is definitely worth your life, so don't even worry about dying as long as you get this save. That's all that matters, really. Right, 
now we just have to get over here, which could be a little hard because we only have like one noisemaker. This alien has no business being that smart. Look how lucky I got right there. Fucking scared. 
These perks always get me tripped out because I hate when he walks around the fucking table. Maybe he'll like leave for a second, that way I can walk out that way. How does he know to keep going through the room that I'm in? Holy hell. That is a good ass jump scare. A little bit of a ear bump there. You can do it. You can do it. Get your ass up there, lady. Get up there, lady. She's about to pull a freaking parkour. Watch out. This ass is crazy. I knew you could do it, Ripley. Good job. You did an amazing job, Ripley. <laughs> yeah, you need an ion torch for that room. I don't know how to get the ion torch. I may have to YouTube that after I beat it, because I don't know if it's something you have to beat the game for.
Okay, and missing. then that, I need to fix that is pretty much that whole mission right there. Repair required. And then we'll go back to main menu. Wait, let's make sure it's saved. All saved. Menu. But yeah, that's. I had that whole thing re or, uh, recorded already. We played through it already. And I went to go edit it in my video editor. <clears throat> and for some reason, the whole video, like, video wise was not there but like all my audio was and i was kind of like okay well what happened here well so then i tried restoring the old file and it it didn't work out so i was like okay well i'll just re-record it but yeah thank you guys for watching you're beautiful as always please leave a like comment and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more alien isolation we're also going to be playing other games we're probably going to take a break from the scary games after this but we're, we're definitely going to be playing something else um, I don't know what, or I don't know what I'm going to play yet, but we will see. But as always, thank you for watching. You're beautiful. Enjoy the rest of your uh, day, night, morning, whatever it is, and goodbye. Peace.